If you're a lesbian with an internet connection and you're a big fan of Doctor Who, you have probably come across Thasmin. Dun 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 dun. So, Thasmin, um, something I didn't know existed until I just was looking up Doctor Who on Tumblr, Reddit, and apparently Thasmin's a thing. It's around. It's there. And since I've known about it, whenever I watch a new episode of Doctor Who, last episode aired last night, RIP, I miss you, it's all I see. It's all I see. I cannot unsee it. Even though it's probably not there, it's probably not even written into the, the script. It is there. It is there. Um, it, now, if this doesn't make you believe in the law of attraction, I don't know what will. Because the law of attraction is basically whatever you put your attention on, it manifests. My attention wasn't on Thasmin. I didn't even know it existed. I found Yasmin to be quite a boring character on Doctor Who. And now each time I watch Doctor Who, all I can see is that chemistry. That wasn't there before, before I knew about this. So, if that isn't Law of Attraction, and the, the proof of Law of Attraction, I don't know what is. So, let's talk about Thasmin. And is it good? Should it be happening? Should it be canon? Or should it just remain in uh, Reddit, subreddits, and Tumblr? Um, and I believe the latter, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I don't see that happening. Um, I think it's definitely something that our lesbian brains have made up, um, unfortunately. It would be interesting, I suppose, to see the Doctor with a woman, even though we kind of have, but the fact is that the Doctor is a woman now is what makes what would make it a bit more interesting. However, I can't help but feel that Phasmin isn't canon. Um, I can't help but feel that it's all about, when it comes to Yasmin, it's more about Ryan. Um, by the way, spoiler warning. <laughs> um, and to be honest, the proof of that was in um, last night's episode, the last episode of this season, which was called The Timeless Child. You know, um, the example of this, I'm not going to use any clips because copyright stuff, but the, the proof of that was when she was going after the Doctor, when the Doctor was going to sacrifice herself. Um, and the fact that even though she was trying to save the Doctor, she was chasing after her to, like, not to detonate the death particle. Um, Ryan was the one that actually held her back by saying, just let her go, or what, I can't remember what he said, actually, but he said something and it stopped her from uh, chasing after the Doctor. So, to be honest, I think that's more canon. It's more likely to be canon. Although it would be nice to, like, see something like that. I just don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think there was probably more chemistry between the Doctor and the Master, actually, to be fair. Speaking of the new Master, I think the new Master should be... I, I would be happy if that Master was the Doctor. I think that's. I think that guy's a really good, really good actor. Anyway, that's what I have to say on Thasmin. I doubt it's gonna be canon, um, although it is fun to think about. And like I said, like it's one of those weird things that you don't see until you know about it, until you know about, like, the fandom and the subreddits and all the, the, the Tumblr posts, you know. It's it's only there when you see it, when you've heard about it. But that's not to say it won't be canon, but I highly doubt it. I, I think the romance route for the Doctor, I don't think any writer is going to do that for a while, because um, just how a bit messy it got after Rose. Um, yeah, it just seems a bit messy when the Doctor gets, you know, romantic with other humans and the whole River Song thing as well. Because um, the Doctor is essentially an alien, so yeah, I think it should be, I, should, I think it should remain like that for a while, where the Doctor doesn't have any romantic sort of like relationships. I think it should be held off for a few seasons at least. But it is nice to see sometimes, it is nice and refreshing for there to be an actual pivotal love story at the centre of Doctor Who. Um, but at the moment, I think it should be left alone. Anyway, that's my, I guess, my opinion, my thoughts on it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please check out my other videos if you would like to. And I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.